Hey, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Uh, apologies about my voice. I'm kind of nasally at the moment. I think I have hay fever. Um, over the weekend, I went to see Con Skull Island. And it was fun. It was awesome, but it didn't feel like a King Con movie. Uh, first off, the things I liked. The cast was pretty good. You had Brie Larson as a war activist. Now, this movie is set at the tail end of the Vietnam War and uh, she's kind of a photojournalist and war activist and she's she's seeing the worst that you can see and she accompanies a mission to geographically map this lost island and uh, she's joined by T uh, Tom Hiddleston as Conrad, a tracker and a squadron of soldiers who are accompanying uh, John Goodman's uh, character uh, who is one of the head of Monarch that's the organization from the Godzilla uh, 2014 movie and it's it this does sit up as a precursor to this uh, the soldiers that are escorting them there are a unit who have survived Vietnam they've, they've, they've gotten there intact and they've gotten out intact and their leader Packard played excellently by Samuel Jackson is um, the one who leads the military kind of mission and once they get to the island and drop charges uh, this pisses off Khan to no end and he attacks and he destroys he destroys the uh, convoy of helicopters the action is cool the creature designs are very awesome uh, you have uh, even some creatures from uh, Godzilla the old Godzilla movies for example Kamunga the giant spider turns up in a very cool sequence in a, a bamboo field uh, which is, is very kind of dark as well because one of the soldiers uh, gets uh, gets Kamunga's leg goes straight through his mouth and out his back and it's it's like a punji punji spike trap and th this kind of disconcerts the soldiers and they all start firing madly um, another thing I liked was the skull trawlers the skull trawlers were actually a kind of throwback to the original kind of creature that comes up after Jack Driscoll in the original 30s version and and they're they're very dinosaur like they're not dinosaurs uh, but they are dinosaur like there's some other cool creatures in there as well there's a giant kind of stick insect and there's a water buffalo and there's some kind of pterodactyl like creatures but there's no dinosaurs and that kind of disappointed me Khan himself he's very aggressive he's very vicious he does remind me of the original King Khan, but um, by and large, I I don't think he is kind of as majestic. They try to make him majestic, but it's too little too late uh, in the movie when they try to do that. And I ended up siding with Samuel Jackson's character because his men are horribly murdered by Khan. Like, granted, they did drop bombs, but it wasn't their fault, and... And you could say Khan is defending his territory, but it's just vicious. And I could totally empathise with uh, Samuel Jackson's character. Granted, he does go a bit war wacky near the end, but but it's it's someone told me, hey, look, you know they shouldn't be like picking on Khan. Well, if that's the case, maybe Brody shouldn't have blown up fucking Jaws at the end. Um, it shot wonderfully. The soundtrack is amazing. You have some fantastic. 70s music playing and and you've got like Black Sabbath and and Creedence Clearwater Revival and a really cool booming score that that it makes it a period piece as I said before Monarch is featured in it and um, It does kind of it does seem to be World building rather than King Kong building there are some cool elements uh, from the original kind of con movies and even King Kong vs. Godzilla. In King Kong vs. Godzilla, in the original version, uh, Khan is attacked by uh, an octopus. And this happens in it. Uh, the Khan design and stuff is pretty cool. He's more monstrous. He's he's more humanoid than, than, than the Peter Jackson Khan, which was based on a silverback mountain gorilla. Um, last but not, lot, but not least, John C. Riley is in this. And he's awesome. He He plays this kind of... Robinson Crusoe character who's been trapped on the island for 28 years. I got it wrong. I thought he was uh, from the Korean War, but no, he's actually a World War II pilot. And he crashed there along with a Japanese pilot. And there could have been a whole other story there, but, but they chose to ignore it. 
But I think if they wanted to go back and do a Khan movie, they could have gone back with those characters. He's really funny. He's just like, he's kind of just all over the place. He's gone a bit nuts. Um, really likable characters. I, I ended up liking the soldiers a lot. And that's why I think I kind of sided with Samuel Jackson uh, wanting to kill Khan. Uh, they did try and kind of justify his actions but and, and make him majestic. But it was just too little too late. Um, fun monster movie, really cool fun monster movie that is going to establish uh, the 2014 Godzilla and other creatures. If you, if you get a chance, do stay to the end of the credits, I'm not going to tell you why. But as a King Kong movie, I don't think it works. But as a, a monster movie, B-monster movie, where soldiers versus big monsters, uh, it, it's pretty cool. Disappointed there was no dinosaurs, but the creature designs are pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, this has been the Trash Picture Show. That's my review of Con Skull Island. If you get a chance, do check it out if you're a monster fan. And uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.